Today I have Mayor Christian Provenzano in the On TV studio to talk a little bit about his campaign to run for mayor again. So it'll be your uh, your second time running for mayor. Second time, yeah. So you've served four years as mayor. Yeah. And uh, how, do you, how do you feel about your term up to this point? <laughs> That's a great question. So let me start by thanking you, Riley, for having me in Thanks today. Thanks for coming in. And I also want to recognize all of the people, uh, both the ward candidates, uh, the councillors, and the mayoral candidates who put their name in for this municipal election. It's really important that people do. It's a really important process, and I respect people to have the courage to put their name forward. So I want to thank them and wish them all, wish them all well. Your specific question was, how do I feel about my term? I feel really good about it. I feel like it's been a challenging few years for the community. And I think that uh, I, along with the support of the city council and the city staff, have managed the community through a fairly challenging time. At the beginning of our term, we saw some instability at the OLG. That's now right. much more stable. Uh, at the beginning of our term, we saw the oil prices drop, which really affected Tenaris, and Tenaris essentially shut down operations. Tenaris is back up and operating, and we supported the company through that period. And obviously, at the beginning of the term, we, we had a significant issue with our major employer going into CCAA. We've been managing through that. We're still managing through it, and I'm confident that we've been managing through it well. So, you know, in the midst of that, uh, we've done some really great things. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to lump things into essentially three categories, affordability, uh, economic development and community development. Okay. So on affordability, uh, this council's worked hard to keep uh, residential and non-residential tax uh, increases down. Uh, we've decreased the sewer surcharge, which is a really big uh, difference for people who, have, uh, uh, who use water in the community. Um, and also not only residences, but uh, commercial operations and industrial operations. Uh, we've implemented a long-term tax policy. Uh, we've redone our budgeting cycle so the council could have more input in the in the budgeting process. Right. And uh, we've been really sensitive to water rates and distribution rates, and we've been working hard to keep those down. And then, you know, we've, we've done some really interesting and important things on, on economic development. I think you've seen recently there's been some pretty tremendous announcements out of the PUC, mm -hmm. uh, which will make our community more innovative and right. forward-looking and, and help our business climate. Uh, but just as importantly, I th I'm really proud of the work we did on the Noron submission. Right. So uh, I think there's some great work there, and that's a project that I think it's important we have some consistency on, and I yeah. certainly want to see through. I've been one of the leaders on that project. Absolutely. So why, what, so you've, you've started a lot of these projects, and is that kind of part of the reason that you're running again, is yeah. you want to see a continuation through? Sure. Four, four years really isn't a significant amount of time in, in governance because, you know, you get well, elected. Well, it takes time to get yeah. things done, right? You get elected and you, and you find the municipality in, in whatever place it's in, and then you have to start working with people and developing those relationships mm -hmm. to uh, go in the direction that you want to go in. I've said very clearly, and I'm very sincere about it, I only intend to serve two terms. Uh, okay. I think it's important uh, that the community have change in its leadership, uh, and you can't believe that and then not... Uh, walk the walk when you when you say that uh, and I think eight years is enough time I mm -hmm. think uh, if you have a vision and you have good working relationships you should you should be able to get things underway and get them finished off in that eight-year period or close to finished off and I think I think you're seeing some of that And if I can just circle back to some of the work at the PUC yeah of course I, I immediately I committed during the last campaign that if I was elected I would get involved in the PUC and I did I was uh, I sit on all the PUC boards I sit on the Water Commission and uh, you're seeing some great projects come out of the PUC now those projects are, are tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. You have to do a lot of due diligence, you have to do a lot of work, you have to do a lot of stakeholder relationships, and you can't do that in a year or two. It takes some time. Mm -hmm. You're seeing that come out now, you're seeing those projects be announced, you're seeing us going down the road on them, but to get the shovels in the ground and complete those projects is going to take another couple of years. Right. Well, they mean a lot to me. I yeah. want to make sure I'm there to see that through. So I've, I've, uh, I've done a lot in this last four years. I think I've worked really well with the council that we have. I want to credit them for their... Uh, their support of me and them, uh, their leadership and initiatives that they put forward. Uh, we've had some really diligent counselors who have done some really great things. And uh, I think if I'm given another four years, I could uh, really help the community move towards a more positive, uh, productive future. And what are some of the, have you, you've been out, I'm assuming, you've been out kind of canvassing and talking to people? I, I'm out every day. Right. Uh, I haven't been, I have been out, I haven't been door knocking to a significant degree yet. Uh, but, for instance, today I have two events, and on Saturday I have three events. Right. Uh, the thing about being the mayor is 
you're still the mayor during the campaign. Yeah. So I still have a job I've got to do. Time management. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I can't take a leave of absence from being the mayor. Yeah. So I'm the mayor and I'm doing my mayoral events. And as a result of that, I'm talking to people every day. So right. I, I do hear about things. And, and what, are some, what are some of the key concerns that you've heard from Sioux citizens um, about, you know, the, the state of, you know, the city and what they want to see moving forward? So that's a great question. And there, there are numbers. So uh, when I lumped things into three categories before, I said... Uh, we had affordability, economic development, and the third category is community development. And, and that category is a broad category. We have some challenges in our community. We know, uh, like uh, the rest of Ontario, and specifically Northern Ontario, that the opioid crisis has hit Northern right. Sault Ste. Marie. So that, that's an issue. That is also an issue that affects crime rates. So we've seen an increase in uh, some of this day-to-day uh, -day crime, like breaking into vehicles, mm -hmm. right? We've seen an increase in that. And the police services is aware of that, and the police services is adjusting its front line. Uh, efforts to make sure we can deal with that. So I hear about those things. Right. I, I, I engage with people on social media. I hear, I talk to people when I'm out in the community. I recognize those are issues that people have. They're issues that, that I have and that we're focused on. Um, people also want opportunity, right? So you have to make sure you're doing the right things to create a climate in the community uh, that's healthy for business and good for business. And I think we're, we're, we're doing those things. Uh, one of the biggest challenges for uh, economic development is electricity costs. Mm -hmm. Well, at the PUC, we're, we're putting a plan in place to try and bring down uh, our large consumers' costs. Right. Um, another big issue, and you know, yesterday I was at J.D. Arrow. Uh, J.D. Arrow is a gem of a business in our community. They employ over 100 people. There's airplanes coming from all over the place to Sault Ste. Marie to get fixed. And I was meeting with the executive at J.D. Arrow yesterday to say, like, how can we help you? Right. And they had a very clear message to me, and it's a labor market issue. They need people. And so uh, the city's focused on how to help companies like J.D. Arrow find the people that they need to grow their business. Businesses can't grow without the human resource. It's the most important resource. And that in hand will help to build job development and economic prosperity in our city. Absolutely. They said, if you find me the people, I can find you the jobs. Perfect. Well, you know what? That's, that's all the time we have, Christian. But I want to thank you for coming in and sharing a little bit about um, your campaign to run again and a little bit about your philosophy. Um, folks, the municipal elections are October 22nd. October 22nd. Um, a list of candidates can be found on the city's website. And we also have a, a list of candidates for all the wards and for mayor on suonline.com where we've done a little bit of research into all the candidates for you to check it out. Again, thank you. Thank you and, for having me. And we'll be back with more news after this.